with the face and neck lift, usually you improve <clears throat> from the cheek down to the middle of the neck. So the face lift improves from the corner of the eye to the jawline, this part, and the neck lift from the jawline to the middle of the neck, all the way across. Well, when you do a mini face lift, usually the surgeon just raises the skin on the front of the ear and removes this skin, the extra skin, and pulls this skin back. So the benefit is a little less um, uh, obvious because it's only a small change along this part. When you do a face and neck lift, then you have to move the whole tissue under the skin from the cheek all the way to the, to the neck. And then you pull on the uh, fascia, this, this fascia is called this mask, so you can get an improvement on the cheek, on the jaws, on the marionette lines, along the jawline, under the chin, so it's a more complete procedure. Well, the face and the neck lift, it depends. Every patient is a little different. Some patients, they have heavy, heavy necks or heavy jaws, but in average, for a face and neck lift, it takes about four hours. Some may need maybe three hours, some others may need five hours, like a male, because their faces are bigger, they take a little longer. Females, they take a little less time, but about four hours. If the patient is healthy, I mean, if the patient doesn't lose his weight and he keeps it without smoking, not being on the sun, taking care of their skin, the results may last for like about 10 years, in average. But if the patient is a smoker or he doesn't take care of their skin and he gets exposed to the sun very often or loses a lot of weight, maybe it's gonna be a little shorter of the duration of the uh, results, maybe five years, six years. Every surgeon has a different technique. In my practice, for a mini face lift, we use a local anesthetic and sedation. For a face and neck lift, we use general anesthesia. Because it takes, uh, it's a little more precise to be completely under, so I have a better control on the patient. And it, the results are much better, in my, in my opinion. Well, when you do the face and the neck lift, after we finish, there is a little bit of swelling, not too much. So the next morning when you wake up, you can open your eyes, you can see it's a little bruise on your cheek, a little bruise under the chin. And if you did your eyelids, maybe a little worse, maybe it looks like a raccoon. But 48 hours after, between 48 hours and 72 hours, then the inflammation gets the most, is when you, get, you look the worst. So after three days, the swelling goes down slowly. At the end of a week, about 50% of the swelling is gone. And most of the bruises is completely gone, but in about two weeks is when you start looking more normal, so it depends. Every patient is a little different. Most of the patients in two weeks, they look good. Some others may take about three weeks to look normal. Depends on the activities that you do at work. If you do a work at home and you don't have to see anyone, maybe you can be back on your activities in a week later after the surgery. But if you work in a, with customer care and with a patient has to be facing a customer very close, it may take about three weeks before the, the patient looks good and they can wear makeup and they can have a, the stitches removed. So it depends on what kind of activities that you do at work. After the surgery, we usually wait eight to 10 days to have the stitches removed. It's also different from patient to patient. But average is uh, 10 days. Once you have 10 days, most of the stitches are removed. 